Hi friends, I am Joel John and you are watching Joel John J YouTube channel and this is going to be a video about medical billing that we are calling after a very long time I am speaking about a year calling topic because I was held up with some other things so that I cannot give you more videos and this video I am taking up because I have got uh, two of my followers asking for uh, one is for how to find balance in bundle claim cases and when why are we getting negative balance in an insurance uh, bucket so i'll explain that and uh, in the meanwhile i got another one of my followers saying that uh, for rejections also they are asking to do a uh, ask for an uh, eob that's not possible only when it's denied there will be an eob x i really appreciate here their knowledge is excellent uh, but sometimes quality team people also do mistakes so on that case you have to check with your uh, team leads and managers get their support and try to ask them to re, uh, remove the error because only when it's denied it will have a denial code and UOB so what's the in insurance billing you will hear these terms repeatedly because they will say when the claim is rejected also they will say the claim is rejected uh, when the rejections to if you are very strict rejections or uh, initial auto clearing house rejections because you mainly send it to pay payer id you'll be selecting the payer id right when you are uh, submitting the claim uh, character claim and all those so the main reason for getting the payer id or when you are calling you will be asking for the payer id the reason is it will be directly electronically transferred and uh, electronic faxing method email also most of them they will electronically scan it so uh, there is also a process of sending it through paper paper uh, claims it will go to the clearing house there will be a rejection team and then in insurance adjudication team before it's getting adjudicated there will be a front end rejection team so these two the cases the claim will be rejected on those times they won't send any eob the eobs are generated fully denied partially denied and uh, you know uh, fully paid all these three scenarios eob will be generated even if a claim is fully denied after reaching the team for processing it will be like uh, the, there will be only one cpt code in the claim or few cpt codes all of them are uh, not covered then it's also fully denied so at that time also you get a uob so be very clear on that only when there are denial codes you will get a uob so only at that time you can uh, you know do the denial management without uh, denial code if it's rejected then it has to be submitted as a corrected claim okay so and also another one scenario which i come across people is people are misunderstanding corrected claims means you can directly go and do a correction on the existing claim mostly you won't have a facility in software that it will be submitted as a fresh claim on that first claim the original claim number will be mentioned uh, that uh, denied claim number will be mentioned and then the subsequent codes will be selected uh, those things i have already explained in order to save time i am not talking about all those things so now quickly getting into the knowledge uh, part of this particular video why we are uh, getting uh, claims bundled bundled claim means you there are uh, there's a uh, excel kind of sheet called as ncci edit sheet what this talks about bundled cpt codes the claim is bundled the cpt code is bundled all this reason is when there is a particular treatment when there is a major treatment what they do is they have a particular cpt code for that in that itself they will include the bills of all the you know uh, treatment which are required which will be arising out of this all the cpt codes will be there itself for example if they have to do major surgery the diagnosis which are going to be done for that those cpt codes after diagnosis only they will do the surgery those cpt codes will be added then the future treatment be after doing a surgery he has to take some medicines he has, he has to take some rest all those charges will be added up so when all these charges are being added up on the particular cpt code itself so i take all the required money with this particular cpt code itself i bill everything and again i put break it of all of this for the same uh, diagnosis code which is already paid on this particular cpt code itself if i put that same uh, which i put the cpt code again and bill this is double time billing right will you accept you won't similarly the insurance comes come uh, companies also don't accept they will say that this cpt code is bundled on this time you have to be very conscious what you have to ask is you have to ask for which cpt code is bundled with which cpt codes so this is where you have to be very careful because they they will uh, most of the uh, 
representatives, insurance representative whom you speak will be in a hurry to finish up the call and they will just give one or two times. You, it's your responsibility. You are working on the provider side. It's your responsibility to ensure that all the line items in a particular claim form is paid. What you have to do is you have to open the claim form before you call a insurance rep. You have to check for the existing UOBs. Then you have to make the call. This they call it as uh, pre-call preparation. And uh, there are also cases in which they will just ask you to ask for the claim status or the particular part of the call alone because of the uh, they may not be able to provide a full full fledged training or they would have part, done some partition on your calling. So at that time, please don't argue. Please listen to what they say and if you can do it completely, then do it. But if they say that you have to can, uh, ensure that the insurance bucket comes to zero, then you must do all the steps. This is the simplest method to understand whether you have to work on all the claims, all the scenarios in your calling, then they will say you have to take care of the insurance bucket. Very simple word of that particular account. And then only you can move to the next. If they say that, but uh, you cannot so make it zero at the first time itself. It will take few days. You have to ask for the UOB. You have to ask for the check whether the UOB is already there. So now we are, they are saying that claim is bundled. So is this is happening within the particular claim or with some other subsequent claims? Because this also happens. The earlier claim would have been processed for the entire treatment. Then mistakenly for the diagnosis, they will generate another one claim. Okay, and uh, in that some other things which are not included will that would have been added because those may not be done for this particular, uh, you know, uh, treatment or those may not be covered within the CPT code. Now only I am coming to the main scenario. This CPT code has few CPT codes bundled, but the doctor and the insurance company scenario itself will say that there is some other CPT codes which has to be done. I uh, hope you all will be know, aware about the CPT code and ICD-10 codes with that uh, uh, you know perception I am talking but still I will give a short uh, note on the ICD-10 codes and CPT codes because if you don't know that the whole thing you won't understand. CPT code in short it's something like the doctor decides what has to be done to a patient. What are all the services, diagnosis, treatment, care, everything given by the CPT codes and revenue codes are more will be for uh, on UB04 forms you will have revenue codes that will be for the room treatment and all those steps okay so whichever it's uh, in short you have to understand whichever is uh, pretending to the doctor it will come under CMS 1500 and whichever is pretending to the uh, you know hospital it will come under UB0 form but don't argue that there is a CPT code related thing on UB0 form as well there are a lot of things everything I cannot say on a single video so to have a good understanding ICD-10 codes are something what the doctor observes because if a doctor has to decide these are the things to be done to a patient, the doctor should have observed certain conditions because of which he has to do like the temperature, fever, ICD-10 code, vomiting, ICD-10 code, wound, ICD-10 code, scan result, diagnostic results, uh, medical condition, all those things will be given by the ICD-10 codes. Okay. Uh, so these ICD-10 codes based on that the CPT codes will be determined. Why I am saying this is uh, based on this they have come up with a CPT code. There, in this bundle claim say that this person is undergoing a major heart surgery. There are also chances that this bundled CPT code will have a list of CPT codes which are inclusive or bundled or global bundle. Global bundle means there will be a global period. Within that whatever the CPT codes comes it will be within this global bundle okay the global bundle dates range from 10 days to 90 days in general and that will vary from the cpt code to cpt code so you have to be very careful about the global bundle scenario as well and global bundle scenario and global periods are very important question which are most frequently asked for a ar callers so in which they say you know you have to take care of the insurance bucket because without knowing this you cannot work on bundle claims without working on bundle claims it's very hard to work on air calling if you do the full process okay so now again coming back to the topic now uh, we say that some CPT codes are covered where to see that that's called as NCCI edit sheets if you are going to take the full process you have, should have this or else the insurance uh, the company provider side which you work for may have a separate medical coding team they may do this okay 
Now, when you see this in this scenario also, there is another one case where the modifiers will come into play. How they come into play? They will say that this is could this is included without modifier. You cannot build the CVT code uh, uh, separately. But if you add the modification modifier code, then you can build it separately. So this scenario also you have to check on the NCCI edit sheet. So you have to be very careful. And uh, in this case of bundle uh, scenario, if there is a modifier, if you know the modifier, you can uh, do that if you are allowed after checking the thing. But otherwise, best thing is go by medical coding team because that will take a long amount of time. And also in this, there will be scenarios. It doesn't mean that if they say that the, uh, in uh, this bundle list of CPT code, there is a CPT code, they have to pay that. Don't argue like that. That's another one scenario wherein you get into trouble. If uh, it may be globally bundled, but it not it may not be uh, the case that uh, is medically necessary because of the patient uh, situation, the doctor would have done something else. So on that time, the, you have to check with the, you have to go by your uh, claims only, whatever he has given, that only you have to check. So whatever the CPT code, they say it's globally bundled, you have to check which CPT code is bundled with which CPT code, which CPT code is bundled with which CPT code. What are all the CPT codes which are bundled and as per NCCA edit sheet also it's correct. That amount will not be paid. Simple. But if it says that with the modifier you can do that, then on that case you have to give a corrected claim. You have to make a note for a corrected claim. In case if you find that this is uh, not bundled, then you have to say to the rep this is not bundled as per the NCCA edits. You have to take it for reprocessing whenever you send it for reprocessing and whenever you they say that this is rejected every time you have to get the call reference number date and time which is as per that uh, rep name on his system date and time okay not yours because for them their uh, systems date and time only will be captured electronically but very rarely uh, the companies leave the indian date and time on the on your system so most probably it will on that there also there will be slight difference based on the region you work for so be always careful to get the system date and time for the rep. If they don't have a call reference number, very rare scenarios it happens, get the rep name and date and time. Okay. So this is how to check for the account balance in bundle claim. When you do this, you should uh, uh, like uh, if it's paid and everything is over. Now how to do, how to, you know, tally the balances, you have to get both the UOBs. Which is bundled, uh, if they say that it's bundled and paid on a previous claim. So now there are two claims. Two claims, uh, I told you already the scenario, right? They would have again uh, entered the CPT code. And uh, even though if it's bundled with the modifier, it could be again done. Okay, on that scenario, what you have to do is, you have to get both the UOBs. And for both the UOBs, you have to find out the payments and uh, uh, check whether now it's fully paid. So getting both the UOBs is very important. Uh, if there is an adjustment, so through uh, for in which for towards which uh, UOB this is adjusted. Here some cases that they will say that this CPT code of on the next bill, next claim which is generated, this CPT code will not be paid as it's globally bundled with the previous CPT code. So this particular payment is done on a previous claim already. So you would be nullifying it there. But now the question arises where it is paid. So it's paid on the previous claim. So you have to get both the UOB number and you have to enter both the details on this. So that's when the offset entries will be correct and that's when you will get the correct balance. So you have to be careful on this. So bundled means the CPT codes in a, as a whole is already given so they are it's uh, inclusive, globally inclusive scenarios because uh, it's uh, for example uh, if I have to you know do a surgery then definitely there will be some diagnostic done there already right so it's understood that if the cpt comes it's already inclusive of this cpt code okay so uh, those scenarios are all given in the ncc edit sheet itself so there's no need to go somewhere else to refer and uh, some people go confuse this uh, uh, globally bundled cases with the LCD and NCD guidelines. NCD and NCD guidelines for, for medical necessity. Whether this treatment has to be performed or not, that will be given by medical necessity. There you will be putting the ICD-10 codes and matching it with the CPT codes. Here CPT codes 
with the what are all the cpt codes which are included in that within that or what are all the cpt code which will be included within this with the modifier these are given on ncc id sheet so don't have this confusion if you mistake also you will find out when you have the icd 10 code and cpt code uh, in here and uh, that cpt codes and cpt codes but don't have a much of confusion so this is how working on that so another one scenario they say is in within a patient account i am seeing negative balance why this negative balance happens as i told you already there is something called as uh, you know offset entries offset entry when they post if they don't uh, you know get both the uobs for example for this patient the payment would have done already on excess at that time you have to make both the entries correct uh, where from uh, you know payer side to insurance and from sorry from payer and insurance are the same from uh, insurance side to uh, doctors uh, provider side and uh, provider side to that's claim adjustment that's that you have to show that that's paid by the payer if these adjustments are not tallying definitely there will be a negative balance so you have to check whether both uh, for for each and everything say, say it on creditor and debitor account should be there that's when you will get a zero on the balance sheet that's when the balance sheet is correct right in accounts similar to that if there is an entry from the for example they uh, send a recoupment notice and uh, this provider will refund the amount for this particular patient but that would be captured and they wouldn't have uh, captured the subsequent entry they would have said i have paid and they on the particular claim for this claim this amount is paid that should be adjusted only when that is adjusted you will get not get a negative ba balance now because that will be already on zero they are finding it again and showing saying that uh, this is as uh, this account is having a overpaid and insurance will send a no, you know recoupment notice to the doctor saying that we have excess paid so refund the amount so the doctor office will refund for this particular from this patient account this refund is made as excess amount is paid with for that particular entry this is a payment posting team job but you should be aware of that they should come in and uh, make an another entry that towards this claim or uh, putting the claim number uh, uh, amount is paid and refund is done by the doctor office based on the recoupment notice like that or else there is another one scenario in which offset that's they with the, the next claim arising they will adjust the amount okay so that will be on some other uh, patient's bill they on that scenario they have to ask for the uob towards which this particular claim is adjusted i will put this as a separate video as well because understanding this will be a little bit uh, difficult on the uh, same video so you have to get both the uobs on uh, mail or through fax and they have to mention it clearly to uh, on both the patient accounts and for this patient they have taken up the offset amount right so they have to pay say that the offset for the provider of the same provider office has been done towards this particular uob and then with this uob you have to track back that particular patient account and on that you have to put an adjustment so when both the side entries are done that won't show a negative balance in this case the previous account if they put an entry only for that uh, this much amount is uh, that account let's assume that it's already on zero so we say that this amount is refunded to that's the another claim you make this entry alone then definitely there will be a negative balance because you are posting a refund entry you have to put another adjustment account that saying that this uh, refund is already paid on excess so both the credit and debit notes should be there so then again it will come to zero so these are all errors which happens because of not getting the both the uobs if you do fail miss out to get both the uobs from the ar caller side then definitely they payment payment posting team will won't post both the entries then there will be a negative balance another one thing rare case because most of these transactions are automated it won't happen normally another one thing happened is when calculating the patient responsibility if you collect excess amount from the patient mostly it happens when the treatments are going on suddenly the deductible will get over they won't calculate this properly but auto if it's, as it's automatic automated it will uh, get accurately but sometimes they miss out on the posting and uh, somewhere on <laughs> that uh, we can not explain full thing here so the when they miss out to do the posting or when they miss out to do it on the same order the deductibles will would have already met uh, even after that you would have already uh, directed some money from the patient towards deductible on that cases you have to refund it to the patient when you refund it to the patient you have to again put a corresponding entry that 
this is paid excess on this particular claim so refunded so that's when the refund entry and the where which claim it's paid in excess that too should be on the both uh, different sides and that too should get tallied if that doesn't get tallied as well you will get a negative balance okay friends so on this particular scenario we have talked about global bundled global periods inclusive cases all these you have to refer the ncc id sheet in this within this also there are chances in which the doctor would have done some treatment which are not medically essential you cannot take that if it's a there is one global bundle case so it should be there you should be very careful on why they are denying if it said as medically not necessary then you have to ask them whether you follow the ncd or lcd guidelines lc is based on what the guidelines they are saying you have to check on that with the icd 10 code and cpt code on ncc edit sheet it's cpt code and within that cpt code what are all the cpt codes which are directly inclusive and uh, what are all is not inclusive or what are all is not bundled or what are all bundled within the global period that's called as global bundle and the global period should be applicable and uh, you have to check with the period from the data service if the global period exists then it's not bundled you can bill it separately if the global and then again it's it medically necessary or not will be the next question that's when i said that lcd lcd guidelines uh, because they may say that the way this is given again at that time you have to say that this is medically necessary so now it's not within the global periods and if it's still denied you have to check with the ncc uh, lcd and ncd guidelines okay now uh, if the include if they may also say that this could be included within the with the modifier it could be separately built on the time you have to send it to the coding team get the appropriate modifier and submit it as a character claim okay you should know when you have to ask for reprocessing when you have to submit a character claim and uh, if you some cases if you give the modifier on the call itself they will accept and another one shortcut you can do is if there is a repetitive treatment say for example uh, because of some uh, Uh, adding some uh, uh, artificial things on your body when the, they add a plate or something there will be a certain period after that you have to remove the plate and then i insert a new plate on those cases check for the frequency of its repeating you will have a similar claim on that claim most probably the similar argument will would have happened on that case you have to ask for the previous claim quote that claim date of with the date of service the rep will check that claim and base as and uh, all these details correct claim everything will be there so with that he will take for retake it for reprocessing so at that time you can save the time and you can you know collect the money so that's a shortcut so have all this in mind when you do processing of a globally bundled claim and uh, at that time you will be able to uh, solve these kinds of cases so i think with this i can come end of this video and uh, negative balance there are also lot of other scenarios and global bundle also we can uh, talk about that separately on a video this video i am making it uh, mainly as these people ask me queries for this two people i have to answer so this is the main purpose of this video i will be posting this video soon and stay tuned we will come up with other uh, medical billing videos as well so press the thumbs up icon below this video and uh, share your comments if you have any more doubts or queries also put it on the comment box i will make videos for that as well and uh, press the share icon and share it to your friends group and stop speaking about this you may come across more scenarios if you have any other solution if you have any other shortcuts please mention that on the comment box so that other people who look at this video also look at the comment box below so that you can post your comments or if you know the reply for some queries or if you have a simple shortcut solution post that as well that will help many people press the share icon and you can share it to your whatsapp groups facebook twitter linkedin all those stuff and uh, uh then what you can do is you can subscribe and press the bell icon and enable all notifications so you will get an update when i post the other videos and as you know this is a multi dimensional channel you will come across other videos like fish and others as well and also i am going to start speaking on those videos as well and then i will putting on general awareness topics as well watch those as well uh it's time to say bye and see you joel john j signing off from you bye